I'm Steve Bellingham. Today I'd like to give a brief introduction to a brand new book that's about to come out. It's called The Descent of Japanese Father God, Ami no Mio Yagami. Now this is uh, quite an incredible book and as I read it, there's an expression that I've thought of many times as I've studied the teachings here in Happy Science. And that is the saying, truth is far stranger than fiction. And as I read this book, uh, I realized that this is another example of how the truth is often far stranger than fiction. Uh, one of the things we've learned in Happy Science is that the history of human beings on Earth is much longer than what uh, most science or religions would, would have us believe. Master Okawa teaches that actually was around about 330 million years ago when humans first started to inhabit this Earth. And that, uh, you know, we know that as well as our Earth, and we have our one sun shining in the sky, which uh, brings all the light and the energy to this earth. We also know that within our one galaxy here, that there's billions of other stars inside our one galaxy. And we also now know that as well as our galaxy, there are billions of other galaxies out there. So it's an incredibly vast universe that we can perceive. But beyond that, Master Okawa teaches actually that there are many, many universes. So the universe that at the moment that maybe our astronomers and our scientists think that it, it's, uh, it, it's infinite and it's everything. And our one universe is, is everything. Master Okawa said, no, this universe itself is just like a bubble in, in space from the perspective of God and amongst maybe even uh, billions of other universes. So. It's incredibly vast. Once again, the truth is far stranger than fiction. And this, the reason I bring this up is because uh, Amino Miyagami, the book from uh, this uh, Japanese Father God, is about a being that came to this earth around about 30,000 years ago, and he laid the foundation for the Japanese civilization. So when we consider that the uh, billions of stars in our galaxy and the billions of galaxies out there of the Aminomi Oyagami, the galaxy he actually came from was one called the Andromeda Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy is the closest galaxy to our galaxy. It's about 2.5 million light years which means that if you're traveling at the speed of light it would take you about 2.5 million years to get there. Of course that's a long long way but because of the ability for space people to travel through the multi-dimensional universe, they, it doesn't take them 2.5 million years uh, to get here. So once again, uh, truth is far stranger than fiction. They can travel here very, very quickly because they're traveling in the multi-dimensional universe beyond the three-dimensional world to the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimension. So this is something Master of Power has talked about for a long time how the space people can move between planets very quickly. So in this book, Master Okawa teaches through the spiritual message received from Amino Miyagami is that he came here about 30,000 years ago with a fleet of uh, spacecraft and around about 200,000 other space people. And they descended and landed uh, in the foothills to Mount Fuji. So what this book explains is the teachings from Amino Miyagami and included in that is the Bushido spirit. It's a new movie with uh, Chiri Bushido and I fully recommend you read that to understand more fully Bushido spirit. But the Bushido spirit is essentially the same as uh, uh, the Samurai spirit and it is the idea of a really uh, strong belief in God's justice and being a person who lives for good uh, and with the intention of defeating evil and even uh, if you are willing to risk your life or uh, risk your reputation or to be able to put everything else aside to live your life in a way of selfless service aiming to serve God to bring goodness into this world and to destroy evil this is really the Bushido spirit and uh, 
So he came here and taught this spirit. It also included things like manners, uh, the idea of manners. So there's a lot more than just the idea of the fighting, uh, fighting against evil and for good. But uh, the, when you look at the Japanese culture, when you look at the Bushido spirit and those teachings from Ami no Miyogami, you can see how much it's affected the Japanese spirit or, or the Japanese culture. Yeah, so the, the book itself includes so many teachings. Of, from the history of Japan and uh, the time when the continents were connected, when Japan was actually connected to uh, the Asian continent there, and really how the Oriental culture of many countries, including China, really has come from this time when Aminomi no Yagami came 30,000 years ago and uh, influenced the whole region. So yeah, please uh, have a read, uh, enjoy the book, and uh, yeah, hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much.